So, what makes somebody a photographer? What makes me a photographer? What makes you a photographer? I was asking myself this recently because I have a photography website, I have a photography Instagram, I have a photography YouTube, but does having all of these things make me a photographer? Does owning a camera or two or three, does that make me a photographer? Does putting prints of my own photographs on my wall, does that make me a photographer? I was reading Roman Fox's blog recently, I'll put a link in the description, but he has a really excellent way of describing what makes somebody a photographer. So Roman says that a photographer is somebody who goes out with the purpose of taking photographs. And when they go out to take photographs, they're actively trying to improve their photography. I think that's a brilliant way to describe it because that gives you two things to aim for. You should want to go out and take your photographs, but you should also want to go out and get better at taking your photographs. Personally, I often get up early on the weekends to go and take photographs. I am eager, I'm inspired to go out there to take photographs and get better. I'm not a pro by any means, and I don't claim to be, but I really, really enjoy photography and I really, really want to get better at photography. I love street photography, but I don't have a huge amount of practice in low light photography. And so while I was thinking about my legitimacy as a photographer or what makes me a photographer, or if indeed I am a photographer at all, I decided that I would kind of take my own advice and go out and do some nighttime street photography in Dublin city centre. That way I'm going out with the purpose of shooting and I'm going out with the aim of improving my photography. So I took my trusty X100V and I headed out to Dublin city centre on a Saturday evening and I think it went pretty well. The challenges of low light photography in and of themselves are many. You know, you've got to slow down, you have to be more conscious with your aperture, your shutter speeds. But add to that the fact that you're in the city centre, the capital of Ireland, on a busy Saturday night. There are people out on the streets, in pubs, coming in and out of places, walking around you. It's a busy environment. And then people see you as a photographer taking pictures of people, of places. You kind of stand out more than them. And so you can start to feel a little bit self-conscious. I definitely identified some areas where I can improve. My shutter speeds were sometimes quite slow and that introduced a bit of motion blur, which was unintentional, of course. Naturally, in some cases it was intentional. but in some cases it kind of just destroyed photographs which otherwise could have been quite good. But at the same time, while I like some of these photographs more than I like others, I'm still quite happy with the selection that I have. But I think that along with wanting to go out and take photographs and wanting to go out and improve your photography, what also contributes to making you a photographer is having the willingness or the maturity or the desire to then go back, review the photographs you've taken, decide which ones you like, which ones you don't like, and then to identify areas where you think you can make improvements, and then to put that into practice and go out and shoot more and work on improving yourself even further. I think that's what makes you a photographer and makes me a photographer. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing. If you have, thanks for subscribing. If you have, I hope you do, of course. But until next time, thanks again. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.